Hello everyone, I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and in this Tips and Tricks for Inkscape, we're going to learn about Dynamic Offset. So this is a great tool to use if you're going to be doing laser cutting or sticker making or even heat transfer with the printing cut. So what we're going to learn today is we're actually going to have an engraved image, but if you wanted a little bit of a bordered or a cutout around it of that exact same shape, we're going to do that as well by using Dynamic Offset. I've already imported my image. I'm going to right click on top of it and duplicate it. You should have two of them now. now. We're going to break this apart because we want to just get that outer line of this object. So go up to your path menu, click break apart, and you can see now all the different shapes. If we remove the fill of this, you can see and add a stroke, you can see all the outlines. The outlines. Okay, now. So now we want just this outline shape. You can highlight and select the rest of your objects and delete them. So for this one, let's just change the color so we can see it a little bit better. And we're going to overlay it now on top of our little strawberry. Now we see that it's right on the line here, but we don't want it to cut directly on the engraving. We're going to now kind of space it out. And how you do that, go up to Path and click Dynamic Offset you're going to notice that there's now a little red triangle and when you click and drag this you can make it either bigger or smaller. Now be aware if you go too big you're going to have off cut lines and little other areas that are going to be added. So go to a good reasonable size and then you can go over to your stroke paint and add in the magic number to cut 0 0.001 in inches. And that is how to use the dynamic offset tool when creating items for the laser cutter or the print and cut. I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and that is your tips and tricks on Inkscape. Thanks and have a great day.